good athletic position. I want to start by uh, mentioning that we always want to be in what's considered the good athletic position. The good athletic position is what every sport really requires. And you'll see our student here with his, his knees are bent, his, his feet are under his shoulders, and so they're not too widespread, they're not too close. This gives him good balance, good strength. And, and we do this because one of the things is we, we wanna prevent we want to prevent injuries. And so you'll notice that a lot of different sports, if you were going to be a running back, he would start in that good athletic position. If he were going to be a hitter in baseball, he would start in what, again, you'll notice good athletic position. His legs are under him, good base. Uh, if he was going to shoot a free throw and he was at the free throw line and, and shooting baskets, he would, again, get in that good athletic position. And if he is going to safely uh, lift weights, we always start in what would be considered that good athletic position. You'll notice uh, he bent down, picked up the weights. He didn't bend over at the back. Uh, he bent at his waist using his legs so that he could prevent injury. Now, in certain exercises, yeah, we will adjust our, our feet and our angles, but that's the good athletic position, and from time to time you'll hear us make mention of that.